Hi guys, it's me Johnny again. Yes, surprise right? It didn't take three weeks for me to come back, lol. So today I'm gonna show you how to make some very easy and yummy butter pecan cookies. I figured these would be great for Christmas. They're very easy and taste tasty. So let's get started. So guys, the first thing that I'm going to do, so in this large bowl, I'm going to go ahead and add my softened butter. Make sure that the butter is nice and soft. And then we're going to add some sugars, brown sugar and white sugar. And you're going to cream that together until it's nice and soft and fluffy. You don't have to overmix this. You can use a hand electro mixer if you want, but a spatula will work. So once it's nice and soft like this, the butter is well combined with the sugars. We're going to go ahead and add our eggs and vanilla extra. I'm going to switch to a whisk because it's easier to mix. And you're going to mix everything together until everything is well blended. So once everything is nice and well blended, I'm going to go ahead and add my dry ingredients, which is some flour, baking soda, salt, and cornstarch. I read in a blog that cornstarch makes this cookie nice and chewy. And it's true because they came out really chewy and I was surprised. So I'm just going to add those in there. Using my spatula, I'm going to fold those everything together. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my chopped pecans. So these pecans, I toasted them in the oven like a 350 for five minutes. And then I chopped them and just add them into your batter. Mix everything together until they're well combined. So at this point, once the butter is well combined, you can cover this, pop the, the, the bowl in the fridge like for two hours until the dough is nice and chill because we don't want to bake this right away because the cookies will spread way too much. And that's some problem that people have. They be like, why did my cookies spread too much? It's because you, you need to chill it a little bit because that way it prevents from spreading. So, but what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take my, my baking sheet that I lined with parchment paper. I'm gonna take an ice cream scoop. This is the smaller I got. And I'm going to form my cookies. I'm gonna place them there. And I'm gonna actually pop this in the fridge for 20 to 30 minutes. That way it's faster. You don't have to, like if you put the whole bowl in the fridge, it will take longer, but this way it doesn't take that long. Just until they're nice and firm. And also like chilling your cookie in the fridge, it will provide more flavor, you know? Like the flavor develop more, but for filming purposes, I don't got time for that. So <laughs> I have to bake them, bake this as soon as possible. So pop it into the fridge for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, I'm gonna bake them at a 350 degree Fahrenheit for 11 minutes. After 11 minutes, this is how my cookie looks and they smell amazing and just let them cool a little bit and enjoy let's grab a cookie They are so tasty and so soft and chewy. I love it. They're not hard at all. I really hope you get to try this recipe. Check out the description box for all the details. And I'll see you in my next upload. Bye.